North Texas. The Mean Green. Of course, Eric Morris is the new head coach here. And we'll go on and pull it up on the screen here in a second. But they went 7-7 seven and seven last year. Made a conference title game. Lost it. Lost the bowl game. And, of course, Seth Luttrell had to be let go. That's the way it goes, I guess, uh, when you expect a whole lot from your football program. He set those expectations. He couldn't live up to them. It's the way it goes. So, last year, their postgame win expectancy in the regular season, 6.47 and 6.53. That includes that 13th Conference USA title game that they lost to UTSA. They were 6-2 in the conference last year, uh, but only 7-5 overall, just to give you a bit of an idea. Number 82 in returning production, number 63 on offense, number 101 on defense. Eric Morris uh, was at Washington State as the offensive coordinator. He brought Cam Ward over. Before that, he was at Incarnate Word as the head coach there. Uh, The offense that he likes to run is pass-heavy. He runs fast. We'll see what happens. Jordan Davis is the offensive coordinator here. Um, let's, Let's start off with this. We'll start with the offense, okay? Rushing success was awful, but number 13 in rushing explosiveness last year, so that's good. Uh, They were number 112 in rush success. Just putrid. Louisiana Monroe transfer quarterback Chandler Rogers comes in. He looks to be the starter. Um, The offensive line was fifth in the country in sacks allowed. They only lose the center this year, which is a huge, huge part But they did bring in Ethan Miner, who started 12 games at center at Arkansas State. So you do have some experience here. I like the pieces that they've got on offense. I think this could be good. Roscar Attaway, the second, is, of course, the running back here. Um, Wide receiver Roderick Burns is back. I I think they've got some... They lost some dudes to transfer. But I think they got some guys on offense. I think they'll, they'll certainly be fun to watch. We'll say that. All right, moving along to defense. Matt Capone, former Iowa State cornerback coach for the last four years. Now he's leading his own defense, of course, down here in uh, in Denton, Texas. Defense was number 119 points per scoring opportunity and number 120 in third down conversion percentage. You got to get stops. Got to get stops. Now, this is a whole new defense. Again, number 101 in returning production or adjusted returning production. The new D.C. knows defensive backs. There is talent in the secondary. You got the cornerback, uh, Tashada there. Uh, defensive line is still an issue, though. They were number 127 in stuff rate, number 130 in offensive line yards allowed. Uh, they got a lot of upperclassmen. There's only one sophomore that's expected to start. Everybody else is juniors and seniors. But, eh. I mean, what are, what are we looking at? They're protected favorites in six games. I've got them in seven toss-ups. That's projected spreads within a, a touchdown or so. We're going to expect the offense to score under Morse. These are the keys to the season, by the way. But can the defense get stops? They averaged giving up 43.6 points per game and seven losses in 2022. They were 7-0 and when they gave up 28 points or less. So I think we have a number here. Watch how many times the opponent scores 28 points. Uh, the late schedule does them no favors. You look at weeks 8 through 11, I mean, that is just brutal. Um they got to close their last three on the road. It's just not great. The question here, can they win road games? That's going to be a big piece of this. Uh, number eight, or weeks eight through 11 is at Tulane, Memphis, UTSA, and at SMU. Absolutely brutal. And then to close out the season, you got at Tulsa and at UAB. Not expected to be good teams, but you got to go on the road for the last three weeks of the year. It's not good. Not good. Turnovers need to be fixed. They were number 112 in the country in turnover margin last year. Uh, penalties per game, though, number 36. That's not bad. Uh, you look at the quarterback that they brought in, Rodgers only threw interceptions on 2.2% of his passes. Austin Awney was 3.6. I feel like that's a pretty big difference. Um, I think Rodgers not going to take as many chances, but we'll see. We'll see. It's a new head coach, new quarterback, new everything. I've got the team at 5-7, and seven, so I've got them going under the win total, which is 6.5, Juiced at minus 155 to the under. It's plus 125 if you wanted to go over that. Uh, but I've got them at 5-7 and seven on this. I That schedule looks brutal to me. And so not a not a huge fan with the way it was set up. The ceiling for the team, if the offense is clicking and the defense is able to do anything, I could see them going 8-4. and four. The floor for the team, I think, is probably 4-8. and eight. 
They're going to be able to get some wins because they're going to outscore some people. But uh, this could be a situation much like Louisiana Tech had last year with Sonny Cumbie, uh, where the offense was great, but the defense was just bleh. So when you get into shootouts, it's a coin flip. It's an absolute coin flip. I like Eric Morris. I think this could be a lot of fun for them. Um, we'll see. We'll see. But 5-7 and seven for North Texas is what I've got on that one. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and follow me on Twitter, at GaryWCE. If you want to toss in a question, you can email me, Gary, at winningcureseverything.com. Make sure and hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.